Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, now I'm gonna talk about top 3 best sound bars. Starting at number 3, Poke Audio Magnify. It's big, it's loud, it has a fantastic remote, and it's one of my favorite systems. Although it's far from the most subtle bar on the market in terms of sound and won't be competing with the big boys for clarity and crispness, it's still one of the most pleasing to use and certainly among the easiest. In my opinion, this is one of the best mid-range sound bars around. The included sub is excellent too. This is the second Poke model on this list, and it's worth noting that the company has recently released a smaller version of this model, known as Magnifi Mini, a cute little bar less than 14 inches long, excluding the accompanying subwoofer. We haven't had a chance to try this yet, and we are skeptical that it will compete with the models on this list, but if you've got a small space, it's definitely worth looking at. Weirdly, it's more expensive than the actual Magnifi at the time of writing, which is something we can't figure out. More information and latest price are included in the description. Coming at number 2. Bose SoundTouch 300. On the one hand, there's a fair amount to recommend this Bose SoundBur. You get decent sound, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi functionality, access to the excellent app, and good, solid design that will fit easily into your home. Unfortunately, the SoundTouch 300 has a few black marks against it. First up is the price, which is huge for what you get and doesn't even add a subwoofer unless you're willing to pay the same amount again. Second is the fact that the sound, while perfectly passable, just isn't good enough to compete with some of the other models on this list. As such, although we are happy putting it on the list, the company is going to need to make some major changes in order to make it any higher. If you like the Bose aesthetic and style, then by all means, go for it, but this isn't our first choice. It does, however, come with an extra help option if you need assisting setting it up which may be useful. And number one of this list. Cambridge Audio TV B2. The Cambridge Audio TV B2 is a doozy. In terms of pure tightness of sound and how accurately audio is reproduced, this is a super piece of equipment, although outside of that, it doesn't really do enough to justify placing it higher, and it's not as loud as some of the other models. It can also be a little tricky to track down, like much of Cambridge Audio's gear, if you live outside the UK. That's not enough to keep it off the list. Cambridge Audio almost universally make good stuff, so it's no surprise that this sound burr is the way it is. Plus, you get Bluetooth streaming, an included subwoofer, and the ability to control it with your existing remote. It has the ability to actively disperse sound to approximate, if not quite replicate, a stereo field, and the tech behind this feature is called the Balanced Mode Radiator Driver. I say it's worth the price of admission, if you care about audio clarity, get this one. All of these items are available on Amazon.com, I have included all the links in the description, you can check out the links for latest price. Guys thank you for watching, if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe, I'll see you in my next video.